Recently I was asked if I wanted to do a little bit of work on a uh, 1970s era Gretsch George Van Epps seven string arch top that had been pretty severely modified from its original state and even though I've got a, an awful lot of new instruments to build um, I said sure I'll do this it would be an interesting project so the guitar was sent to me and uh, I looked it over and was pretty startled by everything I found but um, going to try to do something to make this a playable instrument again I can't really call it a restoration because it's never going to be what it was when it came out of the factory but uh, hopefully by the time I'm done with it it'll be a pretty serviceable arch top guitar I do have an awful lot of new instruments to build so I have a friend Jeff who comes over from time to time and we work on doing restorations of beat up old guitars and uh, so he's going to be helping me with this one but before I get into details of what we've done I thought I'd just show what I found when I opened the guitar case um, one of the most obvious things is the trapeze tailpiece has been replaced by a hard stop tailpiece also the bridge was originally I'm pretty sure an all wood bridge it's been replaced by what looks to be brass with separate little maybe lucite um, saddle pieces one for each string so oh, there they go then uh, the original pickups were, I think, probably filtertrons, and anyway, the back one was taken off completely and just covered up, the hole was covered up with this piece of plastic. And then the front pickup was replaced with a seven-string carbon pickup. Um, and then, moving farther up, for some reason, the last couple of frets have been cut off of the fretboard. Um, so that's, that's some of the big stuff. Originally, there were two switches here, and there was a master volume control down here. That has been epoxied over. And then there were a couple other tone controls down here. So that was the face of the guitar. The, the peg head end was just fine. Um, it had one replacement tuner, but peg head's in good shape. No cracks on the neck or anything like that. So that was nice. These markers look to be contact paper or some kind of tape. So I'll be taking those off. The frets are flat as can be. They will have to get replaced, but there are many other things to deal with before that. Now moving around to the side of the guitar is where the real surprise comes. Somebody had cut a giant hole into the side of the guitar. They left the bindings intact, so from the top and the back you couldn't tell anything was different, but there's this large hole in the guitar and it must have taken this person a long time but they very carefully managed to stack oh what is it looks like one two three four five separate layers of wood to join the top and the back of the instrument together um, cut away the, the tail block obviously so there would be no way to put a trapeze tail piece back on it 
So that was necessary in order to have the stop tailpiece. You couldn't you couldn't anchor a tailpiece like this into just the laminated top of the guitar. But uh, it's a an incredible engineering feat and an incredible mess to try to do something with. Now I've actually already taken the back off of this guitar so those pieces of wood you see in there are not tight together the way they were when I first saw the instrument. But I wanted to kind of put it back together so I could show what I had seen the first time I opened up the case.